Hi, this yep. is Kevin from Karma Loop TV. I'm here with Maya in Worcester, Mass. Hello. Can you tell me a little bit about World Town? Mm, it's kind of a non town, but I think it's like my idea of utopia. It's just this is how we live these days. Like everybody travels, everybody swaps cities, everybody goes everywhere to learn different, different things and to like enrich your life. Musically, we draw from everywhere. Fashion wise, we draw from everywhere. Art wise, we draw, draw from everywhere. We exist on like MySpace these days and Facebook. You know what I mean? It's like. I don't, I don't think it even matters what street you're from anymore. More recently, you've, it seems like you've been collaborating with people more on both the production side of the records, but also in, in your fashion and your performances. I think it's just, you know, I'm running out of time. It's like, in the beginning, I had so much time and, you know, you're at home and I had space. That's the other thing. Like, I haven't actually had space that I call my own since, like, 2005, you know what I mean? And I think that's that's why I, I wanted to collaborate with certain people because it felt like an anchor to me just to, just to always have, like, carry cassette player that, you know, it's not that even we collaborate, but sometimes it's just nice to get on the phone and be like, this is what... You know, I feel, and this is what I'm seeing. And you know, for Carrie, like she's in London and she's really sort of Londonized. But it was nice for me to take her to Jamaica and India and stuff like that, just to expand her vision and you know what she's doing. And I don't know. It's just it. It also seems like while I have this vehicle, this opportunities, it's nice to like use it to inspire other people and vice versa. You know, be inspired by the people. And you're, when you're traveling around, do people that are local recommend to you not just sounds, but also techniques for capturing sounds? They're like boys, there's all the whistling on the boys that we got this girl to do. And she was working at this like restaurant. She was like, you know, really cool. And she seemed like she could do it. So we were like, yeah, come come to the room and like help us do all these like whistles because she was really good at it, way better than me. And when she came over to do it, she got fired from the boss. Like he freaked out. Then we had to stop the recording and go and help her get the job back and stuff. And that was like a two-day event. And it was like, it's things like that. Like, we get caught up in reality and then we have to stop the recording and, you know, get on with, like, real life. So, I don't know. To me, it just felt like there's, you know, if I look back at my record in 20 years' time, this one, every, every sound in there makes sense to me. It is like a photo album. But a ruler wasn't like that. Like, it was more technical. It was more like, you know, for the first time, I was getting to know music, and it was so alien to me. Like, I've never heard my voice in, in, in headphones before. How do you know when an album's done, if you're doing it in this way? With this one, it was really hard. With this new one, because I built it, like, in layers so i did all the beats in india then i did like the sonics in trinidad then i did like the vocals somewhere else and then it was built like in slices so then we we kind of went right we're going to close off songs like that it was a different way of doing an album and i found it conf i did find it confusing you know i was but i couldn't control it because it was just my circumstance you know okay what's next <laughs> I really have no idea. I don't know. I think I think after my shows and stuff, I finish in December, and then I want to know. I don't know. I, I actually, I have no idea. I think I think I'm just gonna be like a blank canvas for a bit and see what happens. This is MIA, and you're watching Carmelo. Don't watch me. Watch yourself. <laughs>